Our next speaker is yet another Educando success story, Karina Becerra. Her journey begins as an elementary school to English teacher in Sinaloa, Mexico. She was selected to join the IAPE teacher training program at the prestigious Dartmouth College Rossia Center. Her drive, her intellect, and her heart were so impressive that she was invited to return to Dartmouth two years later as an IAPE advanced trainer. But her story was just beginning. In 2015, she finished first place in a statewide teacher evaluation, and she credits the Rossius training to her amazing success. And her journey continues. Just last year, Karina was promoted to principal of her middle school, and she's been welcomed into World Fund's LISTO organizational leadership training for public school principals. Please join me in welcoming Karina Becerra. Hello, everyone. I am so happy to be here because I am a proud representative of Sinaloa, Mexico, and two of Educando's program in Mexico, YAPE and LISTO. My story is about believing. Coming from a family of educators, my expectations will always be high. I would like to be remembered that's the kind of teacher that my father was. I remember seeing letters he used to get from students saying how he had changed their lives, motivate them to be their best. My goal is always to be that type of inspiration for generations after mine. As we all know, teaching is not an easy task. It takes more than desires and dreams to make change happen. I was not prepared at all when I started my job as an English teacher. I was too young. I looked like was another student in the classroom, <laughs> and I didn't have any experience as a group leader. Then, another challenge was not even my university had provided me with the content and knowledge I needed to be successful in my career. My biggest concern was how to give proper attention to each of my 500 students and to make a positive impression in their lives. Educando is the organization that believed in me and taught me and helped me <laughs> fill the gap by giving me teaching techniques that furthered my confidence and leadership skills that, take, have, that have taken my career to the next level. When I was working on my BA, my colleagues who were ya pianeros suggest me to apply to this amazing leadership program, but I was not sure. Then, after I attended an introductory workshop presented by my peers, and I knew that I wanted to do that in my classroom, I was finally ready to apply and participate. It is funny how often we act like that about decisions that have the ability to change our lives forever. After participating in my first YAPE program at Dartmouth, I knew immediately that I had changed as a teacher. YAPE made me feel like the star of the show and took me to the limit as a teacher. I returned to Mexico, ready to do the same for my students. Even the shyest student would speak in the classroom. As a result, 
Educando's philosophy of educational communities supporting themselves became a reality. Other teachers in my school began requesting the training. The positive feedback from my students and peers made me more comfortable and confident in my teaching and in my ability to train my colleagues. Thanks to Educando, in just four years, I grew from an inexperienced and insecure teacher to the teacher who ranked the number one on the state teacher exam. <laughs> the racist techniques and the philosophy that I learned through YAPE connect so well with the national curriculum. I was now not only a reference for my students, I was a mirror for thousands of English teachers in the state of Sinaloa. My teaching portfolio and performance in the classroom qualified to apply to be a principal. As a teaching professional, and a yapeañera, who is not afraid of breaking walls and crusts, I went for it and I got it. At that point, my mission was to be as successful as a principal as I am a teacher. It was clear to me that I needed more preparation. So, just like an old friend, I turned to Educando, I applied to Listo. The connection was immediate. Listo has summarized my life goals in three words. Lead, inspire, transform. And once again, just as Yape believed in me and told me to believe in myself so I could believe in my students, Listo is showing me the magic that can occur as I develop a broader vision and involve the rest of my school community. Some of you might identify with me when I say that delegating has been the hardest lesson to learn. But as I advance as part of Sinaloa's first list of cohort, I am learning that it's not only my responsibility to change the lives of students. I belong to a list of community of leaders who have more experience. And I am learning because they are always sharing their ideas and their perspectives. Listo means principles who support each other. In conclusion, Listo is giving me the tools to include teachers, parents, and the community in my dream. It is up to all of us. We are changing the school culture, working as a team instead of individuals, Teachers feel more confident. Students feel that their voices are heard. And their behavior demonstrates this. This sense of shared responsibility in believing in the whole community has only multiplied the positive impacts in the life of the children that I'm lucky to call my students. And now, tonight, in the name of these students, as a teacher, as a principal, I ask you to please support this organization that believes so completely in the power of education. Thank you for your time and your attention. <laughs>